Welcome back. My name is Nigel Schroeder and I want to thank you all for watching this video and it would really, really, really be appreciated if you all would thank me with just clicking that like button and leaving a comment down below and especially sharing these videos out to others. Now this new series that I am starting, all right, creating generational opportunities for the youth. All right. Long, long, long title. However, this title is extremely in-depth because this series is extremely in-depth and it's going to be all about how you're going to be having these open-minded conversations with your preteens, teens, and adults. And we're going to bring some questions forth and bring some ideals forth for you to have open discussions rather than having heated arguments and debates or rather than forcing ideologies upon your children to actually build and embed profitable concepts into your youth so today we're going to be talking about decision making for careers who should be doing that how is that done how do we determine what careers our youth are going to go into, all right? So being that today is the day that it is, we're in 2021, everything is headed towards the future. And the future is all about technology, all right? So in some way, shape, or form, you are going to have to deal with some form of technology in order to progress in today's world. So by doing so, what you have to realize is when we are talking to our children the things that we've done in the past or the things that have worked in the past do not work a hundred percent today or in the future and by us all coming to that realization it makes it extremely healthy and comfortable for us to have these open conversations so the first thing that i would like for you to do is to ask your youth what their goals are for themselves if they've thought about a career and what particular careers they are looking towards all right so we want to know these answers to these questions because these questions are going to help us with guiding this conversation because if we know what our youth's goals are and we can cater to those goals rather than pushing those goals down we can then in turn create healthier conversations. All right, we all want to see our children succeed. So if we have a child and they say that they want to pursue a career in YouTube, okay, rather than shutting them down and telling them they should go for something else, let's follow their career. Let's aid them in getting the proper equipment, getting the proper coaching, guidance, giving them ideas on those topics to give them an opportunity to try in that career path. Remember, all of us have tried multiple career paths or tried multiple hustles or multiple things before we set out and chose one in particular. The first one may be the one that you stick with or you may go and try 10 more things. It just depends on what you want for yourself. Now, while we do that, the next best thing that we can do is now if it's not if we're talking about other jobs that are, you know, more um, more orthodox, then we look for internships or people who we know in our community or friends or family members who work in those career fields or close enough to give that child the opportunity to go and shadow or intern or have that opportunity to be in that field. Now, what we want to do is when our children come up with concepts and we're either unsure of these concepts or we're not sure of the longevity of these concepts because let let it be known, no one on any of these platforms is sure that they're going to have a paycheck the following month because you're at the mercy of the platform that 
you're working under. You're just contracted to work for that platform. You don't know if their pay schedule is going to change. You don't know what's going to happen from on a daily basis from day to day. So what should you be doing? You should also be building yourself a personal brand or your business brand. You, you know, if you're planning on going into social media. So when we're talking about building these brands or building these businesses, let's talk to our children about also pursuing formal education. Let's teach them about marketing. Let's teach them about entrepreneurship. You know, let's teach them about analytics, statistics, um, you know, videography, photography. Let's ask our children about other things that are interwined in the career path of what they want to go for and try to persuade them to look at other things to have a plan B. Okay, so if YouTube doesn't work out for you, you have this marketing degree, you can take it and do this with it. You have this accounting degree, you can take it and do that with it. You have this certificate, you can take it and do this with it. You can teach other people your skills, you can coach, you can mentor, you can do all these other things that are going to allow you to bring in other streams of income. And that's what our jobs are. We're supposed to be facilitating our children and guiding them towards their success. So in order to do that, we have to have open dialogue with them. When we force a child into one particular niche, they're never going to be happy. So you have to understand if you try to force your child into doing something because you feel like they'll be more successful in it or they'll make more money in it, money or success does not always equate to happiness just as well as becoming something in a certain field just because that field may be a high paying field doesn't mean that you're going to be successful, doesn't mean that you're going to be employed. There's no guarantee that you go to college for eight years, go through residency for another four, and then after 12 years, you get a job as a doctor. There's no guarantee. There's great opportunities, but there is no guarantee, and we have to remember that. So rather than forcing our child in a different direction, doing something that they may not be interested in, that may frustrate them, that may stress them, depress them, and bring them down, and push them in the wrong direction for 12 years, let's aid our child and let's help our child thought process and build them up help them throughout and guide them with different concepts that are going to allow them to build and grow okay college isn't for you let's try technical school technical school is not for you okay let's try reading these books let's try this hands-on knowledge let's try applying this Let's try doing different things by us aiding the child and assisting the child in those processes. We can facilitate creating a well-rounded individual that's going to be successful and productive to society and build the world just by taking the time out to listen and assist rather than forcing our own beliefs onto them because that ends up creating rebellion, stress, and all these other negative energies. So that's what I want you guys to do today. That's what I challenge everyone to do today is to speak to your child and ask them what they want to do and try to form a plan and some ideas with that child as to what things they could do along their way, rather directly or indirectly related to create their success. Maybe they do a cosmetology degree. Maybe they do a CNA. You know, maybe they go and get a, a LPN, a RN. Maybe they go for welding. All these different things are things that can in turn, allow that child to be successful later on down the line. And those are the things that we need to think about are what things can we bring to the table to support and promote our child and what they want to do 
And if we don't know, let's be honest with ourselves, ask others, research, and come back to the drawing board. Sit down and research with the child and come up with some ideas to ease yourself, calm down yourself, make yourself more comfortable with the idea as well as to ease your child and make them more comfortable. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm telling you guys this series is going to be amazing because I'm going to be bringing out more direct examples as we progress. And if you like this video, make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe. And please, please, please let me know if there's any other videos that you want to see, any other content that you want to see, any other questions that you have or would like to add out there and challenge other parents to when we're building up our community because we can't build it just by ourselves. It takes a village. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next